Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 nothing like spending time with God. Spending time with Almighty God. Some might feel like it's impossible to spend time with God. Some may feel that they're not worthy to spend time with God, to be in the presence of God. Who is worthy? But God makes it possible. God makes it possible. God is everywhere. He's spirit. Omnipresent. But let's face it, reality says that sin can get in the way. But we're thanking God that He gives us a new day. A new day. We who are here with breath in our bodies, we have a new day. I know that there's some people. They may not be in their right mind. For some of us, we don't even know what's going on in our minds. But God has given us a new day. He's given us a new day. A new day in which we have hope. In which there is hope. In which there is hope. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
Let us rejoice and be glad in this day that he has made. Let us be glad about that. We're praying that all is well. We know that there are challenges out there. We know that there are challenges, all kinds of challenges. Challenges out there that tell you or that try to dictate that you have nothing to rejoice about or be glad about. But this is the day that the Lord has made. This is a day of hope, a day of opportunity, a day of reflection, and a day to, to gather ourselves, a day to try to help somebody, a day to, to be of some resource to someone, to be a help. This is a good day to love someone. This is a good day to spend some time hopefully listening more than talking. But nevertheless, this is a day that the Lord has made, nevertheless. And so we pray that God is blessing you some way, somehow, in such a way that you know that he is, that you know that it's God who is blessing you, that you know that it, it, it can't be mankind, that perhaps it's, it may be through mankind, but you, you know that it's so much more to it. Amen. And so we just thank God for this time, for this opportunity to be uh, able to bring a word an encouraging word to you. We want to encourage you today. We here at D Impact Ministries, we would like to encourage you today. And more uh, precisely or particularly, we want to encourage you to spend time with God. Spend time with God. Psalm 63, 6 through 8 says, from the NIV version, on my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. You know, if you go a little further back uh, in that psalm, David, when he was in the wilderness of Judah, he really starts off with, Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly will I seek you. My inner self thirsts for you. My flesh longs and is faint for you. In a dry and weary land where no water is. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. And he goes on to say, so will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My whole being shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. <clears throat> Spend time with God. What does it mean? Spending time with God. To sit quietly and to listen, perhaps in prayer, to acknowledge Him and to thank Him for his goodness, 
Thank him for his providence, for pro providing for us. Thank him for protecting us. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his grace. Thank him that in a moment of, 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 of whatever is going on, we have a consciousness about him. Even if it's an inquiry about God, that we have the wherewithal to look to him, to seek him. David was in the wilderness and he had a mind to call on the Lord, to look for the Lord, to seek God, to seek God. I don't know, you may be in a wilderness place, you may be in a valley or on a mountaintop, you may be, you know, doing some great things right now, you may you know, you may be doing some wonderful things, but perhaps even on the outside, outside while it looks good, on the inside, on the inside, you're going through some things. You're going through a dark place. Spend time with God, who is able to be with you wherever you are. Perhaps it seems that you're successful. Perhaps you may even be successful. Perhaps, perhaps you may not have a clue as to where you are in life. Maybe you are trying to find your way. Maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you, you have stumbled upon a path and, and you're trying to make heads and tails of where you are. Spend time with God. Seek God while he may be found. Call out to God. The Bible lets us know that if we humble ourselves, if we humble ourselves before God, that God will lift us up. That he'll lift, lift us up out of the muck and miry clay or out of a hard place out of a place where we may feel stuck, out of a place where it may seem like we can't get or make any headway. I don't know if you've ever driven a car that was stuck in the mud, but no matter how hard you press on the gas, you ain't going nowhere. You're like a, a hamster on, on, on one of those spinning wheels. You, you're trying hard, you're doing all you can but you're not getting anywhere. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. Sometimes God will tell you to move and sometimes God will tell you to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes he may have to open up a sea like the Red Sea. He may have to part whatever is is in your way, whatever seems to be an obstacle to you, he may have to part it so that you can walk on through on dry land so that you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is move forward in, in, in faith, with faith in, in God. That means trusting in God who provides a way for you. Spend time with God. Spending time with God, you come to know him. You come to know his will and his way. You come to know that God loves you, God, that God cares about you. You come to know that God is able and willing to do exceedingly and abundantly over and beyond all that you can ask or even think. God is able. God is willing. Spend time with God. Get in his word. Get in the Bible. Look for truth. Look for righteousness. Look, look to God for what, what we need to know about this thing called life and about him who gives life. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. 
I know there's a whole lot of important things to do, things that's got to be done. I know there's children. I know there's work. I know there's personal things that got to be t attended to. I know you got things around the house to take care of. You got your personal things to take care of. You got yourself to take care of. And in some instances, it seems like you can't do anything but just sit there. Perhaps just lay there. Perhaps just stand there. Yeah, I understand. Sometimes there's so much to do and so little time to do it. But spend time with God. Spend time with God. Sit still and think about God. Think about life. Think about what is right. Think about it. Consider what's wrong. And ask God. If you're wondering how you're going to make it. What do you need to do to make it? What is it that you have to put your hands to? How are you going to do things? Ask God for wisdom. Spend time with God. Who is able to give you wisdom. Who won't hold it back from you. Spend time with God. Perhaps you're dealing with a thorn. Something that's agitating you. Something that's in your flesh. That's in your life. That's really just got you just, you know, unraveled. Spend time with God. He may just tell you that, hey, I'm not going to remove that, that thorn. Because why? Because my grace is sufficient for you. His grace, what God provides. When he provides, how he provides. It's sufficient. You'll find this out spending time with God. Some things you may not understand. You may not understand certain things about your family, about your friends, about your enemies, about your neighbors. You may not understand things in the political realm. You may not understand things in the educational realm, in the cultural realm, in the social realm. You may not understand things in the health realm. But God is able. God is able to make sense out of things that don't make sense. And when you still can't find an answer, guess what? God is able to give you peace. A peace that surpasses all understanding. There's no understanding it. There's no, there's no rationalizing it. God is able to do that. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. You'll find if you spend time with God that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus the Christ. That God made a way way back then. Way back then he made a way so that sin would not be an issue. So that death and the grave would not be an issue. He made it possible that it would not be an issue. He made it possible so that our wrongs will not be an issue that our struggling that our he made it possible for us to get forgiveness from the one who gave us life who gave us the wherewithal to move and have our being he made it possible he said, I'm going to take care of all this stuff. I'm going to take care of it. And all you need to do is trust God. All you need to do is trust God. Have faith. Be obedient to God. Because God says, I know the way that you should go. But with man, man thinks that there's a way to go. Yeah, man thinks there's a way to go. But that way don't lead to life. That way, that you know what? Any way that leads to life, if anyone tells you about a way that truly leads to life, God had to give it to them. God had to give them that. It's just like Peter, when Jesus said, well, who do you say I am? And Peter said, thou art the Christ. And Jesus said, mankind didn't give you that answer. God gave you that answer. There are there are answers to some questions in life that only God will give you. That only God can give you 
Even if it comes through the mouth of a baby, you got to know that that answer came from God because only God has the answer to a lot of things in life that, that we might have confronted, that we will encounter issues, things that we need an answer for. God has the answer and he'll get that answer to us. Some things people try to answer for you may not be right for your situation. But God knows the right answer for your situation. God knows the right way to do uh, the right things at the right time for your situation, for my situation. God is able and willing. Spend time with him. You get to know God. Build a relationship with God. God already knows all about us. He already knows about us. He knows our ins and outs. The psalmist said, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take to the sky with wings of, of an eagle even, you know, God is there. God knows. He knows what's going on on the inside of us. He knows what's going on, how we think, why we think the way we think. He knows. He knows about what's ailing us. He knows. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. The greatest thing about God is that he loves us. That he cares about us. That he cares. That God cares. A loving God. Almighty God. Cares. He cares. He's able to forgive us. He's able to forgive us. He wants to forgive us. He wished that all men would be saved. He doesn't want us to suffer the wrath of, of sin, the penalty of sin. He doesn't want us to, to die because the wages of sin is death. He doesn't want us to die. He wants us to live. He would that we have life and life more abundantly. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. He, allow him to deal with your heart and with your mind. Many people, many people have thrown in the towel. Many people have committed suicide. Because they felt they had nowhere to go. No one to go to. They felt hopeless. But I want to I share with you. That with God there is hope. That, that there is hope with God. There is hope. There is strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. If we can just begin to praise him. If we can just begin to count our blessings and thank God. Count your blessings and thank God. Look around. Think about it. Sometimes when you, when you see what other people are going through, you realize you're not going through it. And when you see what other people are going through, you might say, oh, my God. Mm -mm. Just, just call out God. God, help them. God, please help them. You don't have to cry out in astonishment and, and take the Lord's name in vain. Oh, my God, help. Help them. But at the same time, you're really realizing how, how desperate their plight is. At the same time, you're realizing that. You may realize that others are worse off than you. And that perhaps your situation is not as bad. You may realize that all you needed to do was call on God for somebody else and find that he blesses you too. He blesses you too. Because you can't beat God's giving. None of us. We can't beat God's giving. The more we give. The more God gives. And we don't have to give to get. But when we give because of God. We get because of God. 
We get because of God's goodness. We get because of God's grace. We get because of God's mercy. We get because God is powerful and able to provide us with everything we need. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. God, God knows that time is precious because we have until our dash comes to an end where we will not have time on this world, on this side of life. We will have no more time. At some point in time, we will have no more time on this side of time. And we will go into eternity. I can't tell you all the, all the information about eternity. I don't have all the information about eternity. I just know that this is the day that the Lord has made. And in this day, in this moment of consciousness, in this moment of, of, of awareness, in this moment, what I see and, and, and I smell and I taste and I feel, I hear, in this moment where I feel, in this moment where I can think and I can, and I can, I can try to put two and two together, in this moment, all I know is this is the day that the Lord has made. That this is a day. This is a moment in time. Why waste it? Why waste it? Why waste it on frivolous things? Why waste it on trivial things? Why waste it? Take a little time out. And seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Draw near to him and he'll draw near to you. God is able. God has done it. He has provided. And if you're hearing this today, I want you to know. If you are hearing this message today, I want you to know that it's not by chance. And that God is calling you to spend time. Because why? Because God loves you. God loves me. God loves us. He wants to spend time. You know, we spend time doing so many other things. But God wants us to spend time praising him, worshiping him, sharing with him. Even though he know our thoughts, even though, even though he know our hearts, it's just good to share what is going on on the inside. What we are thinking, share it with God. Spend time, have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your troubles. Jesus is on the right hand of the Father making intercessions for us. Go on and have a little talk with Jesus. L allow yourself to sit and listen for what the Holy Spirit has to say. What does the Holy Spirit have to say? Look around and see what God has orchestrated so that you will see it, that you will gain an understanding, a better understanding about things in this thing we call life. So that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So that we will be victorious in Christ. Because why? Christ has already conquered death and the grave. He's, he ever, he's already conquered this world. He has overcome this world. Why? Because we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Look to God. Spend time with God. And if you have to put it on your calendar, if you have to schedule it, hey, by any means necessary, by any means necessary, spend time with God. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. May the God of heaven and earth, may the almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, may he bless you. May he keep you. May he continue to provide for you. May he speak to you, whether in the early morning or the midnight hour or in between. May he speak to you. 
and give you a word of encouragement even beyond this message. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. If you desire prayer, just go ahead and go to our Facebook page, The Impact Ministries, and message us and let us know you want prayer or that you want would like us to pray with you. Amen. And we will be honored to pray with you. Just do that. Amen. And we ask that you pray with us as we continue in ministry, in the work of the Lord. Thank you so much. God bless you, your family, your friends, and guess what? Your enemies too. May they see your light and may they begin to give glory as we all should. And I'm praying that we will give glory to God in the highest. In the name of Jesus. Amen.